Welcome back to the Rambler Sports Locker. I'm Amelia Ickes, and it's Championship Sunday here in St. Louis, and Bradley and Valparaiso are facing it off right now for a ticket to the Big Dance. We'll have that game coverage for you, plus look at how much Missouri Valley Conference fans know about the MVC. Who's going to dance this month? We'll find out this episode of RSL. Welcome back to the final day of coverage of the 2020 Arch Madness Tournament here at Rambler Sports Locker. I'm today's host, Shelby Kluver, and I'm joined by my two matching analysts, Matt Mason and Connor Bergen. All right, guys, Valparaiso versus Bradley, what happened today? You know, the game started off pretty balanced. Both teams were hitting their shots. Uh, Bradley was playing their game, playing defense well, and Valparaiso was pushing the pace. Um, and Valpo actually had a two-point lead going into the half. You know, they were shooting the ball well, 50% from the field, 43% from behind the arc, but they just fell off in that second half. They went on a scoring drought where they shot just one for 15 um, from the field, and Bradley kept their foot on the gas. And Connor, what happened to Bradley in the first half, and how are they able to turn it around in the second? Yeah, so there's a few things. First of all, Daryl Brown was really carrying the team in the first half. He was doing almost carrying the entire load on offense. And in the second half, uh, he got help. It was very much a team win for them. Nate Cannell, who, who started off hot, cooled off uh, throughout the rest of the game, but then came alive during that run for Bradley. He ended up with 14 points, scored seven points during that run. Uh, and Elijah Childs and Ja'Shawn Henry were finishing a lot of buckets down low, which helped uh, get them some easier looks and push the lead out. And the other thing also was their zone defense. Uh, Valpo was getting a lot of three-point shots in the first half, and they were making a lot of them. Bradley switched to his own defense. It was a lot more active in the second half. They're getting out on those shooters and giving them a lot tougher looks, uh, which really was, the, I think, the biggest difference was that defense. And I know we kind of touched on it, but who are some of the key players in today's game? Yeah, Javon Freeman Liberty had a great game for Valparaiso. Uh, he had a double double with 24 points and 10 rebounds. It just wasn't enough to uh, catapult the Crusaders for a win. And how about some of those Bradley Braves? Who are the standouts? Yeah, so Daryl Brown, he actually uh, was the most outstanding player of the tournament that was named after the game. He ended up with 21 points. The crowd was giving him MVP chance from the free throw line while he was sealing the deal. And then Elijah Childs, he did really well on offense. He had 17 points, eight rebounds, but what I really liked about his game in the second half, uh, he really picked up the intensity for the Braves. They were getting out hustled in the first half a little bit, getting beat to loose balls. Elijah Childs had some key uh, rebounds where he dove on the floor, some key block shots, and really pumped up the team, which catapulted, which, which really kickstarted their offense to, to start that run. Well, thank you guys. Anything else you want to mention? Because if not, our own Amelia Ickes was able to get courtside after the post-game press conference to give us the inside scoop. I just came from the press conference after Bradley became the ninth team in tournament history to defend their title. During the press conference, uh, Braves head coach Brian Wardle talked about all that the team has gone through this season uh, to end in this position, especially after being picked the number four seed, saying the team has gone through, quote, a lot of adversity to be in this winning position, end quote. He also talked a lot about his relationship with senior Daryl Brown. He said that they've been through a lot of ups and downs throughout his time at Bradley, but now that they have a real relationship, they've been working well together. Daryl Brown was actually just named uh, most valuable player of the all-tournament team here um, during the 30th anniversary of Arch Madness. And during the game tonight, when Daryl Brown stepped up to make some free throws, uh, there was a lot of MVP chants coming from the stands, which Daryl Brown talked about at the press conference saying, quote, it is special seeing what hard work has brought us, end quote. I was also at the Valparaiso press conference where Javon Freeman Liberty announced that he will be remaining with Valparaiso. Freeman Liberty was also named to the all-tournament team, and this is actually after going through a spell of mono. So we will see what next season brings for Valparaiso and Javon Freeman Liberty and what March Madness will bring for Bradley coming up soon. For the Rambler Sports Locker, I'm Amelia Ickes. Thanks so much, Amelia. It's always so much fun to see our reporters getting down courtside and close to the action. And speaking of the action, Bradley will now be moving on and representing the Missouri Valley Conference in the NCAA Tournament. They'll find out their seedings next week. And during the game, our own Eric Moran had a chance to go down to the concourse and quiz some fans on their knowledge about the MVC. Eric? The Missouri Valley Conference is the second oldest conference in the country. We came down to the concourse of the Enterprise Center to see what fans know about the Missouri Valley Conference. So which Missouri Valley Conference team has the most international students? 
Oh, well, crap. Um, Bradley. I, I guess Loyola. I would guess Evansville. Ooh. Illinois State. It's actually Drake. What is the largest school in the Missouri Valley Conference by student population? I'm going to say Missouri State. Missouri State? Missouri State. Illinois State. That's, that's actually a really good guess. It's actually Missouri State. If you said Bradley, I was going to cry. Yeah. <laughs> Which Missouri Valley Conference school has the most green roofs on its campus? Most what? Green roofs. So like ecological. Why would anyone have green roofs? Green roofs? Yeah. Loyola. Evansville. Bradley. Loyola. That is correct. Two for three. And then the last question. What year did Larry Bird graduate from Indiana State? 82. <laughs> 1978. 1979? 79. That is correct. Three for four. Good job, Alan. Yeah, you guys got the most. <laughs> well, there you have it. I guess the Valley really does run deep. From the last time from the Enterprise Center, I'm Eric Moran. Back to you, Shelby. Thank you so much, Eric. Honestly, I didn't know the answer to most of those questions, so it's good to know that I have some solidarity with the Valley fans. And here at RSL, it takes a lot of hard work to put on a show like Arch Madness. It's for covering a lot of games and a lot of high pressure environments. But we make sure to have a few laughs along the way. Take a look. Can you tell me your first and last name? Briggs Overcash. And can you spell uh, both? B-O- T-H Na 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 Coming in the rhythm alright Gonna get you dancing all night Oh 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 I got a good I can't stop Oh no Come on everybody This is how we shake it up We came here to party And we are gonna take it up Wanna go for a ride Cause we're coming wrap up here at Arch, there are a few quick thank yous I'd like to give. First of all, thank you to Loyola University Chicago School of Com for sponsoring on the, us on this trip year after year. You guys really are powering the future generation of journalists. To all of our fans for watching, thank you for looking at our coverage and for laughing along with us episode after episode. And finally, thank you to my team of reporters here at Imbler Sports Locker. I'm a senior, I'm graduating in two months, and yet there's no other way I would have rather spent my final spring break than covering my Loyola Ramblers with this Rambler Sports Soccer team. So, from the final time from the 2020 Arch Madness Tournament, for Connor Bergen, Matt Mason, Rebecca Vandeviter, Amelia Ickes, and Eric Moran, I'm Shelby Kluver. This is Rambler Sports Soccer. 
Have a good night.